and go and basically um, what I wanted to do is, is, is talk a little bit about some of the lessons that we learned as part of installing and that sort of thing. There are a few things that, uh, that we saw that we thought would be interesting to share with you guys uh, as part of the process of getting up to this release. And so what I'm going to do is hand things over to Chris. And, and Chris, just let me know when you want me to get into the environment. And um, I'll switch over. OK, great. Yeah, and this is, um, this is uh, you know, uh, in a lot of ways, you know, I think half the, uh, half the value for folks is you're, you're getting into to new environments and, you know, finding out from other people who have, have kicked the tires already um, and, uh, and sharing information. So one of the things um, in terms of going through and, and getting going with uh, with the People Tools 852, um, uh, we'll get into a couple of the, the technical things that we hit, but um, we'll just kind of take a, a step back uh, for a second. And um, you know, for for a long time, uh, PeopleSoft customers, you remember the you know about uh, about ten years ago, you know the uh, the common uh, phrase was always you know no code on the client, no code on the client. Um, and you know it's still a, a zero client install for for the browser activity. But one of the things that has happened over, over the recent People Tools releases, and this kind of you know matches industry trends, is that the amount of JavaScript that's actually being loaded down into the browser and being executed there is quite significant. So we've actually been going through and kind of charting this uh, and looking at you know how this is is growing. And a lot of the cool new features and things that are are part of the recent People Tools releases, obviously there's you know there's there's something driving that. So one of the things though that that this where this becomes uh, important, and why don't we go ahead and switch over to the environment, Larry? Okay. Yep. Just one second. So one of the things where this becomes important is is that when you're dealing with the web browsers and you know the volume of JavaScript that is being pulled down into the uh, you know into the the browser, there's a couple different things. So one thing is so we we actually hit some some issues in the the current People Tools uh, patch. So uh, well actually they just put out there's a .05 patch that's available now for uh, for 8.5.2. This is uh, this environment's using the 04 patch. Um, the uh, the 05 patch just came out a couple days ago. So one of the things that happened though was that as we were just trying to go through and get in in this this uh, this environment that has the uh, the 04 patch in here, we were instantly getting thrown out, seeing just completely blank screens, um, and really not not managing to get anywhere. And one of the things that we we ended up going through and doing was um, kind of using some um, some things, and we've we've covered this in some of our other webinars on kind of lower level tips and techniques. But I wanted to uh, just show this here very briefly. Um, essentially, when you're going in and um, getting into the uh, the different uh, uh, you know pages uh, within PeopleSoft, um, let me just pull up one here. In fact, I'll pull up one that. Uh, this is a new one here in 8.5.2. One of the things that um, that in a lot of cases, as you're going through and working in the browser, um, and in IE, you'll you'll typically see me see them, if there's JavaScript errors, you'll see a message down at the bottom. One of the things that'll happen is is that because there's so much AJAX activity going on now, it turns out that there was a uh, in the environment that we had, People Tools was actually referencing a a JavaScript function that didn't exist. Um, and that actually caused the JavaScript execution to halt, and not and basically because it, it halted, it actually had several other variables that weren't defined, and you know caused all sorts of you know cascading issues. So um, if for for folks that are going through and hit this uh, hit this issue, I haven't seen it out on on customer connection uh, yet, but um, I'm still calling it customer connection. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Um, what we ended up going through and doing is after going through, and I'll, I'll show a little bit more detail on this, but we'll pull up the, uh, we went through and actually edited the delivered people tool, one of the people tools delivered HTML objects. And what you'll see here, I'll go ahead and make this font a little bit bigger so folks can see this better. So we'll go ahead and bump this up here. Unfortunately, the editor and app designer doesn't just let you 
scroll the thumb wheel to, uh, to change the font size here. So what this is, is PeopleTools is generating a reference to this particular function. It looks like basically in 852, there, you know, for some of the common things for setting up timeouts and things like that, there's some new versions of that. And so it looks like in this particular environment, somehow that didn't get, uh, didn't get put in, in the, uh, you know, for this particular patch. But one of the, the challenges with this is that because there's so much JavaScript going now, and it's becoming more dependent on uh, you know going through and using JavaScript, that when some of these things happen, you're in a position of you know needing to go through and figure out what is exactly going on. So one of the things that we did to to realize that you know this function wasn't defined and just by creating a dummy one and adding it in here, we could start working, was to go through. And this is kind of, um, you know, for people that are, are supporting PeopleSoft now, this is sort of one of the, uh, the, the, the you know, tricks to have in your toolbox. Um, so different browsers, uh, so IE8 and above, uh, Chrome and Firefox and Safari have different ways of getting to this. But so, for example, here in Chrome, if you were to go through and click on Tools and then click on Developer Tools, one of the things that this actually does is provides a hook in here so you can go through and get much more detail about where exactly something's failing. So this was actually what we had act needed to go through and do uh, in order to, to, you know, to troubleshoot this thing because we really you know, weren't even able to get logged on because of uh, some of the, you know, the, the failures were happening so early in the JavaScript processing. So it's kind of important to uh, to kind of understand about some of the the different uh, tooling that's available to uh, you know with the browsers now, given the volume of JavaScript uh, that's going back and forth now. Um, I think for the uh, portal homepage now, you know, if you look at the amount of of JavaScript with a, a common set of pagelets out there, you know, you'll see that it's it's uh, rapidly approaching you know close to uh, close to a, a megabyte of uh, traffic going back and forth. Um, so there's there's definitely some some significant overhead to that. Now the good news is, um, and I want to uh, give a, a quick call out here to um, uh, uh, I didn't see that he has uh, made it on the on the session today. But one of the uh, uh, the Grace Barling friends, uh, the folks that succeed uh, consulting over in the UK, um, one of the folks that works there, Duncan Davies, actually has a a very good post here that's very relevant to this particular topic. Um, so he blogs under the peoplesofttipster.com site, um, and one of his posts that was out here, I'll go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here, I already pulled this up earlier. Um, he'd been going through and actually doing some testing, he's got some screenshots here with the PeopleSoft ping utility, and actually shows that because of the amount of JavaScript that's now running as part of PeopleSoft pages, he was actually seeing a five-time performance difference between different versions of browsers. So in this particular case, the, uh, the version of IE that he was using, the JavaScript performance was five times slower than the uh, version of Firefox that he was using. And that's on the same different, you know, the same machine there. So, this is definitely something to you know to keep in mind as you know as you look at kind of the progression of people tools and you know a lot of the other common uh, web applications out there and this increased dependency on JavaScript to go through and do activity that you know understanding that you know these different troubleshooting tools and how to use them and some of the other information that people have posted it's becoming a critical part of you know kind of your your PeopleSoft admin uh, toolkit so. Um, there's a, there's certainly more to say about that, and if for folks that are interested in doing deeper dives on that, let us know. Um, we've gone through and done uh, some different webinars and kind of going in, you know in more more deeper detail about you know picking specific problems and troubleshooting those. But we did wanted to uh, to go through and at least call that out. And for anybody else again that that gets stuck on this where you're not even seeing the uh, the, the the sign on page and you see a, an error about this function being missing. Literally, this is all we had to do is just go through and define this this stub function in here, and that actually you know does nothing. So this this one line of code that was added here. So um, that's that's it for you know kind of that that little sidebar on on JavaScript and its impact on your uh, your activity here. Um,